What's up everyone, Rob here from Mishimoto. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook for more exclusive Fiesta content. Today we're going to install our performance catback exhaust on your 2014 Plus Fiesta ST. It's a pretty straightforward install, so let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include 13 and 15 millimeter sockets, a 3 8 drive ratchet, 8 millimeter ratcheting wrench, 14 millimeter wrench, a flathead screwdriver or small pry bar, and exhaust hanger tool. Installation time is about two hours. Installation difficulty is a three out of five. Wait until the vehicle has cooled down completely before servicing the exhaust system. The exhaust system is heavy and unwieldy. We recommend having a friend on hand to help you with removal. Set the vehicle on an automotive lift or raise it with a jack and place it securely on jack stands. Refer to your owner's manual for safe lifting points if you are unsure. We decided to keep the stock exhaust system in one piece. To do this, the rear suspension must be partially disconnected. The other option is to cut the stock exhaust into pieces. Remove the bolt that secures the rear brake hose to the rear spindle. Do this on both sides. Lower the rear of the vehicle down to take weight off the rear suspension, then remove the bolts that secure the rear shocks to the torsion beam. Slowly raise the rear of the vehicle until you can see the clips that secure the brake lines to the vehicle. Do not raise the vehicle so high that the brake lines are put under tension. Remove the brake line retaining clips by prying them loose and allow the brake lines to droop with the suspension. Raise the vehicle up and support it with jack stands or a lift. Keep an eye on the brake lines to make sure they are not under tension. The coil springs may fall out of their perches at this time, but don't worry, we'll put them back later. If the rear springs did not fall out, remove the springs in the upper spring cushions. Note the position of the protrusion on the upper mount as you remove it. Separate the wheel speed sensor wiring harness from the torsion beam. Separate the rear brake hard lines from the clips that secure them to the body. Remove the nuts that secure the cross member to the underside of the vehicle and remove the cross member. Remove the nuts that secure the front of the exhaust system to the downpipe. Lubricate the forward exhaust hanger with penetrating oil and disconnect it from the rubber grommet that supports it. Lubricate the middle exhaust hanger with penetrating oil and disconnect it from the rubber grommet that supports it. Lubricate the rear exhaust hangers and disconnect them from the rubber grommets that support them. Slip the exhaust system out between the rear suspension and the body. The exhaust must be rotated as it passes over the torsion beam to clear the body. Take your time and keep an eye on the brake lines and wiring harness to avoid damage. Locate the Mishimoto midpipe and exhaust gasket in your kit. Slip the hangers on the midpipe into the grommets on the side of the vehicle. If your vehicle is equipped with a stock downpipe, you will reuse the original 15mm nuts. If your vehicle is equipped with the Mishimoto downpipe, use the hardware provided with the downpipe. Select the appropriate hardware for your setup and install the new gasket between the downpipe and the midpipe. Snug the hardware but do not fully tighten it yet. Slip the provided exhaust clamp over the end of the midpipe and install the center section of the exhaust over the midpipe. Align the midpipe with the channel in the underside of the vehicle and snug the clamp over the connection, but do not fully tighten it yet. Slip one of the provided exhaust clamps over the center section of the exhaust. Move the muffler section into position and pass the hangers on the muffler through the rubber grommets on the vehicle. Then connect the center section with the muffler section. Slip the last exhaust clamp onto the muffler section and install the exhaust tips. Roughly align the tips with the rear bumper. This position will change as you adjust the rest of the exhaust, so it doesn't need to be perfect yet. Move back to the front of the exhaust. Align the flanges where the downpipe meets the exhaust and tighten down the nuts. Pay attention to the position of the gasket and make sure it seals properly. Adjust the center section of the exhaust so it's clear of the body. Then tighten the clamp that secures the midpipe to the center section. Position the clamp so the hardware is not at the lowest point on the exhaust. Adjust the muffler section of the exhaust so it's clear of the body and suspension. Then tighten the clamp that secures the center section to the muffler section. 
Adjust the exhaust tips so they are level with the rear bumper. Then tighten the clamp that secures the exhaust tips to the muffler section. Reinstall the crossmember and secure it with the original hardware. Install the rear spring lands if they were removed. There is an arrow cut in the body of the rear spring lands. This arrow should point towards the front of the vehicle. Insert the tab on the spring land into the torsion beam and snap the spring land into place. Do this on both sides of the vehicle. Install the springs. If the spring cushion came off of the spring, simply align the depression in the cushion with the end of the spring. There is a protrusion on the top of the spring cushion that passes through a hole in the body to align the spring. Slowly lower the vehicle to seat the spring on the torsion beam. There is a small hook on the spring lands that must engage the springs to properly align them. Once the springs are seated, lower the vehicle until the shocks sit inside the torsion beam. Use a screwdriver or pry bar to compress the shock and insert the shock mounting bolts. Then tighten the shock mounting bolts and check to make sure the springs are fully seated. Reinstall the brake hard lines to the clips on the underside of the body. Secure the brake hoses to the rear spindle with the original hardware. Secure the brake line to the body with the retaining clip. Do this on both sides. We remove the wheel for visibility, but it's possible to do this with the wheel on. Reinstall the wheel speed sensor harness. Now that you have your exhaust installed, check all the connections and hangers to make sure they're secure. Then fire up your Fiesta for a test drive. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out.